Hello everybody, my name is Jessica Dawson and I'm the chairperson of Psyche Society this year. I'm currently doing my honours in criminology and completed my honours in psychology last year. And I've been part of Psyche for the majority of my university career and I would really, really suggest it to all of those who are starting out at the university and want to get involved. I'll get back to that at the end. Um, so just to briefly summarize my roles and responsibilities as chair, I provide support and oversee the running of all Psyche events and activities. I ensure that Psyche keeps growing and moving forward and that we adapt to COVID times, which is probably the biggest difficulty, but we're doing it. And I make sure that Psyche abides by all the rules and regulations of the university what I believe is my most important role is that I help to maintain an environment where the EC and Psyche members can reach out to support each other and the communities that surround us. Many of our events are going to be online this year so that as many students as possible can join and can stay safe. Um, but there will be some contact volunteering this year, which will go according to the government government regulations and health protocols that will be discussed in the community outreach section of the AGM. Many of our programs will be aimed at providing support to students and to helping students connect with each other um, so that you can form a support structure um, in your degree. One of the programs that I am personally going to be overseeing this year is a massive collaboration type drive where myself as Saki and many other university structures are going to get together and we are going to be collecting everything from bedding, food, clothing, stationery, anything that you guys can think of we will be collecting and we will be distributing it to students who are in need and also communities who are in need just outside of the university. So watch our social media and more information will definitely come regarding the strap. How to get involved in Saki? We get asked this a lot. Um, so we are going to be putting the membership form, which is officially open after this um, AGM is put on YouTube. So we, you can go to our membership form. It will be on all of our social media platforms. The only Thing is that you have to be a registered student at the University of Pretoria in order to become a member of Saki. Then there is another thing that you guys should note if you are wanting to be involved with the community outreach section you need to have a minimum of 65% for your last SLK module. This is to ensure that you are able to handle your academics and that you can focus on your academics so that you can get involved in community outreach when you know that you're going to be able to maintain those same results. So we do put that in there for our members. Email us if you have any queries um, for first years regarding the results. Um, first years can automatically um, enter into our community outreach programs. So just stipulate that you are a first year and you will be allowed to volunteer. So I just wanted to cover why I suggest students should get involved in Saki. Number one is because I believe it provides amazing opportunities to get to experience more than just university while you are at the university. For example, I've been able to go into so many different charities and meet so many different people and just see where my interests regarding my career lie and where I would like to go forward with my um, university career. Um, also, it provides an opportunity to create a network and to just build a support structure within your degree. I've found that doing university alone is a lot more difficult than it is doing it with a team. And it's always a lot more fun when you do have a group of people that you're able to go through the degree with and just help each other along the way. Yes, yeah, so memberships are open. I have such an incredible team and they're going to go through each of their portfolios. They're going to introduce themselves and they're going to just run you through all of the events and activities that they are going to be running this year. And I just suggest that you do try to listen to the entire AGM so that you can be clued up and that you can know where you would like to get involved as we go forward with this year. 
If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to email us at any time. I will put the email somewhere on this video so that you are able to access it. And yeah, other than that, I think I'm ready to hand over to my team. I cannot wait to work with you all and I wish you all the best for this year. Thank you guys. Hi guys, I am Makofani Miranda and I'm currently an honors student at the University of Pretoria and I am also the Vice Chair Person of Psyche. Usually we'd be meeting in a hall full of you guys, but this year we couldn't because of the current circumstances we find ourselves in. But we're still grateful to be meeting you guys even if it's this way and can't wait to work with you. Um, as part of the senior council i act as a supportive role to our chairperson and help her in whatever decisions that she has to make within the structure uh those that affect the structure and as well as those linked to it and also i act as a chairperson in her absence so most of my portfolio revolves around accountability and the discipline within our structure and that means that I ensure that everything is running smoothly within the society so that you guys can be able to see psyche for what it is from the, for what it is from the outside. And also I am overseeing two teams under me, which are the socials and social media director as well as the mentors director. And in addition to overseeing the social media portfolio, I am also in charge of our Facebook account, which is a more formal platform for the psyche society where we have both our alumni and our current um, members of the psyche um, in addition to overseeing the facebook account i have also realized that our alumni of the psyche society is very engaged and interested in knowing how far psyche has come and so this year together with our chairperson we decided to include them in uh, initiatives and drives and projects that we are about to do so that information will be posted on our social media with regards to how that will work and when that will be um in part i am very excited to meet you guys and i'm very excited to be working with you guys for this year and look out for more information on our social media platforms so that you know what psyche will be doing for the rest of this year thank you so much hi everyone my name is Tineel thompson and i am a second year psychology student i am the secretary and treasurer of psyche society which basically means that I'm in charge of the email, the calendars, the Google Drives, and the quarterly e-newsletters. I'm also in charge of the LinkedIn account. And if you'd like to connect with us, it's Psyche Psychological Society and in brackets, University of Pretoria. Hello, everybody. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Shariska, and I've been part of Psyche for three years now. So I started off as the, the team lead for a charity called Play Buddies. After that, I became part of the executive council where I was the long-term community projects director. And then this year, I'm part of the senior executive council where I am the head of communities. So I will be sharing a few slides with you with some important information. Okay, so as I have already mentioned, I am the head of community projects this year. My name is Shariska van Rooy and I'm currently doing my honours in psychology. So this is our email address, communityprojects.psyche at gmail.com. So for anything charity related or for volunteering related, you will contact us on this email address. So just with regards to my roles and responsibilities, so I will be overseeing my community team this year, which consists out of two long-term community projects directors and a mini outreaches director as well. I will be ensuring the smooth running of the charities. I will be doing the charity assessments. I will be part of the disciplinary and handling any discipline and safety when it comes to volunteering. I'm also part of the interviewing panel and I will be doing the placement of the volunteers into the charities. I will also be selecting leaders and facilitators and I am in charge of all charity vision and direction. And also when it comes to confidentiality, 
uh, volunteering documents or anything that has to do with volunteering. So important dates and information. So how the process will work is we will be posting the link to a Google form on ClickUp as well as on our social media platform. So please keep an eye out for that. And then you will fill out your information and then we will send an email to you with the volunteering application. After you have filled that out, we will schedule an interview with you and then we will place you into a charity. So this year we will be interviewing Star Academy, Susan Stratum House, Blaine Moedag and Kungweni Welfare Organization. And then with regard to the community service manual, this contains all the important information from our charities. So we will be sending this to you via email as well. So please make sure you read through everything thoroughly. And then when you fill out your volunteering application that you will make an informed decision regarding the charity that you want to be part of. Also note that academic requirements for volunteering is 65% for a psychology module, unless you're our first years, because obviously we won't be having an academic record as of yet, but that is the academic requirements is 65%. Then important dates and information continued is my advice is prep for your interview. So we will be testing you on knowledge for the charity that you have applied for. So say for instance, you have applied at Star Academy, we will be testing you on your knowledge of autism spectrum disorder. So please know the charity that you apply for and please know um, what you will be dealing with within those charities. And also commitment. Um, so the people we are working with has been laid down their whole lives. So please make sure that you won't be the one letting them down once again, when you decide to not be part of volunteering or not be part of the charity anymore, because that does have an influence on the um, people in the charity. It has a severe influence on them. So please make sure that you are committed to volunteering and that you are committed to the charity that you applied for. And then with regards to the mailing list, we will be opening that on the 29th of March and it will be closing on the 31st of March. So please take note of that so that you don't miss the due date. And then volunteering applications will be opening on the 1st of April and then it will be closing on the 4th of April. So I do know that this falls over the long weekend. So please make sure that you make a little note somewhere that volunteering applications will be opening then. If you are maybe going away for the long weekend, make sure that you fill out the volunteering application before you leave. Okay, and then the volunteering will be starting the week of the 19th of April. So this is just a small illustration of how the process works. So it will start with the mailing list, um, which will be posted on ClickUp and on social media, which you will be filling out. And then you will be filling out the volunteering application. So if you're on the mailing list, this does not mean that you are part of the volunteering team. To be part of the volunteering team, you will need to fill out the volunteering application application and choose a charity which you would like to be part of. And then interviews will be taking place for the charities that I mentioned in the previous slides, and then we will place you into a charity. So project leaders and facilitators. So there will be a section in the volunteering application where you can indicate whether you would like to be a project leader or facilitator. So please make sure that you indicate that on the application if you are interested. So what we are looking for is organizational skills, especially when it comes to time management. You should have good communication skills as you will be in direct contact with the long-term community projects directors at all times. Um, you should have great work ethics you will be in charge of the general running of the charity and specific charity projects. Um, you will have training on this, so you um, won't be left to figure out everything on your own. You will have training, so don't stress about that. But the dates will still be announced when training will take place. So yeah, as I've already mentioned, if you are interested, please indicate this on the application that will be sent out to you via email. Then just some 
general things of what a project leader will do and what will be expected of you is you will be um, assisting the community service directors or the long-term community projects directors where possible. You will be helping with organizational things within the charity such as transportation. Um, you will be ensuring that volunteers actually pitch up for volunteering and make sure that the schedules are out for that and putting them into um, time slots that will best suit their schedules. And then you will also issue warnings if it is needed. Um, you will complete a message report, you will be collecting registers um, and doing the monthly logs for the time slots. And then you will be mediating any conflict within the charity. You will be communicating with the long-term community projects directors the whole time, making sure that they are informed of everything that goes on within the charity. You will be attending meetings where it is necessary and you should be innovative with any problem solving and initiating new programs within the charity. With regards to the project facilitators, you will be assisting the project leader and you will be standing in for the project leader in their absence. You will also be maintaining the register and then help to mediate any conflict between the volunteers within the charity. And you should also be um, innovative with the project leader and then um, if you have any initiative to implement any programs within the charity, you are in the position to do that as well. Just make sure that you communicate this through to the project leader. So that's everything from my side. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask us. And then also make sure that you do follow us on social media as we will be posting a lot of exciting events, exciting news on the social media platforms as we do have a lot of plans which are already starting next month. So make sure you don't miss out on that. So yeah, that's everything from my side. So thank you.
Greetings to you all. I am Bitti Mola a third year psychology and sociology student at the University of Pretoria. And I am this year's Community Engagements Director. Now, this portfolio was introduced with the aim of providing support to communities, especially with interventions and workshops uh, for groups that do not normally have access to such support. It aims to address the relevant needs of the community that will contribute to change, that will increase community participation and um, improve improve the situation in the community and provide empowerment to the community. So I plan to instigate discussions or conversations about the community's um, needs or concerns in order to develop new and collaborative ways to help with the consideration of COVID regulations in line with UP rules and the available amount of resources that we have and I aim to approach companies for sponsorships so that they can help us with the required resources and to promote the Psyche Society. I plan on having a pad, food or school shoes drive throughout my term. I also plan on celebrating days like Mother's Day, Father's Day and Women's Day. But that's not all. I have three main events. The first event is going to be an event called Nice to Meet You. It will be a virtual introductory meeting with the people of the Lesedi Labatu Community Center. It will be a tea party themed meeting, which will be fun and we will have music and games. It will, but relax, it will take place on zoom or google meet so you don't have to leave your homes and if the ec members are more than welcome to join us for the session with the people of lisedi labatu on zoom or google meet whereby we will be discussing their concerns or needs and the psyche team will be urged to donate items to the community center or alternatively they can um, donate masks or food items that will be gathered and collected at a de designated point and will be delivered to the community center when we are able to donate masks or food items that will be gathered and collected at a de designated point and will be delivered to the community center when we are able to do so thereafter we will pick one course that we will work on throughout the term and afterwards we will evaluate and receive feedback from the community on how we have been able to help them now my second event will be a virtual talent show with an organization or charity and the reason why I haven't specified which organization or charity we will be working with is because we are still talking to a few interested parties and we'll only be able to announce once we have made a decision on who we will be working with. Thereafter, we, uh, we will ask the charity organization to ask their learners or residents to... Um, to advertise this um, a Psyche virtual talent show to them with marketing material that we will provide to them. And after they have entered, they will submit videos. They will enter the competition through videos of them showcasing their talent or performing their talent. And then we will look, look at the videos as a Psyche team and decide on um, the best three videos so the top three videos will be the ones that will win and the winners will receive prizes that will be delivered at the organization and i'm very excited about this event i will compile i will then compile a video with uh, with all the entries and all the other videos and 
to make a pre-recorded virtual talent show that will be available for the community um, center to watch or be made public if the community center um, wishes to do so with all the um, granted permission allowed. And afterwards, my last event will be a talk, sh uh, a talk or workshop with the people of Lissidiabatu, just whereby they will choose a topic that they would like us to discuss. It can be any topic, for example, mental health awareness, whereby we will discuss and the winners will receive prizes that will be delivered at the organization. And I'm very excited about this event. I will compile, I will then compile a video with, uh, with all the entries and all the other videos and to make a pre-recorded virtual talent show that will be available for the community um, center to watch or be made public if the community center um, wishes to do so with all the um, granted permission allowed. And afterwards, my last event will be a talk, sh uh, a talk or workshop with the people of Lissidiabatu, just whereby they will choose a topic that they would like us to discuss. It can be any topic, for example, mental health awareness, whereby we will discuss this um, topic and we can even include people that have more knowledge in the subject to help us. Uh, for example, professionals that will have that will be able to walk us through this um, conversation and just provide guidance and knowledge, and even EC members who also be allowed to join this to, uh, this workshop. It will take place on Google Meets or on Zoom, and we will just be sharing knowledge and and spreading awareness. I'm looking forward to this term and I. And I hope we will have a successful term with the consideration of the current situation we're in. With We will follow COVID regulations and the UP rules. Thank you very much. And I'm excited to implement my ideas and to host my event. Thank you. Hi there. My name is Claudia Lilia. I am one of Psyche's mentor directors for the year, alongside Kamohelo Selakani. She will be introducing herself in just a moment. I started a BA general um, majoring in psychology, but through Psyche, I volunteered at Whisper Speech and Hearing Center and found and fell in love with speech therapy. So I've changed to that this year. As mental directors, our overall goal for the year is to provide you, our Psyche members, with emotional and academic support to create a safe, judgment-free space of shared community and to cultivate a larger social media presence where we share and interact with you. We have been trying to keep up some interaction with you, as much interaction as is possible in this time, um, through our weekly Wednesday quizzes on the Psyche Instagram page. On average, 230 of you interact with us there every Wednesday. So thank you so much for your support already. Keep a lookout on our social media for even more content from us, including content tackling issues surrounding topics such as mental wellness, coping mechanisms, tips for academic achievement, and a little giveaway too. So stay excited, we'll see you there and interact with you there soon too. Also keep a look out for our articles and every newsletter covering some similar topics. I will now hand you over to Kamohelo to introduce herself and tell you a bit more about the events we have planned. Hi, I am Kamohelo Silikani, one of your mental directors for this year. I am currently in my final year of study for educational psychology. To elaborate on what Claudia said, we are planning two online events dealing with topics most relevant to you in terms of emotional and academic well-being. We are also planning to put together detailed e-books and e-pamphlets for you with the resources and answers to frequently asked questions and some tips and tricks from students and lecturers who are further along the psychology career path. Thank you so much for tuning in and we hope to see you all soon. 
Hi everyone, my name is Erin Jones and I am a third year undergrad student studying psychology and English at the University of Victoria. I have recently just been nominated as the socials director and I'm honoured and I love it. Um, so my portfolio basically entails that I take charge of all the social media events um, and I take part of all the social media platforms from our Instagram page to our Twitter page which entails posting on a regular basis. Um, posting on our Instagram stories and our newsfeed as well. And there are some exciting things coming up for the month of April. We are um, working closely with the team. Um, we're focusing on the month of April because it's Autism Awareness Month and there'll be a lot of posting with regards to that. So yeah, I look at the mental health awareness calendar dates and I post a lot about that. Um, I post a lot of fun and laid back things as well on our Instagram stories. So it's not all serious stuff. It's just, it's really, it's a combination of really interesting things and it's a combination of some of our serious things like our charity work and it's just basically to get everyone familiar with psyche and what we do and it's to improve the overall name of psyche and to get our name out there okay and then also what i do is i plan the social events for the year which are subject to covid regulations and restrictions um, the first social event of the year will be held online um, as most of our humanities students are off campus and that will be a online bingo night towards the end of April with a prize included. That'll just be a fun creative interactive way to get everyone to know each other and it's not limited to just Psyche members. Um, so UP students can join um, so alerts and notifications will go out for that as soon as possible. The second uh, social plan for the year if in-person contact is allowed, will be a movie drive-through on LC. And I think that's a unique way of getting everyone together, but also of social distancing as everyone will be in their cars. And I think it's fun. And I don't think Psyche's ever done anything like that before. So it's been fun working and with our team on getting ideas on how to do these things and still have socials. And um, the third major event planned for the year um, will be well this will be the online alternative to the drive-through that will be a online film night so what a book club would do but a film club except we just watch a movie analyze it and we discuss it and talk about it in a fun unique way um, just to get everyone involved and that will be mainly for psyche members um, and they because it's not competitive there will be a cash draw prize and I think that's a really interesting way and a fun way to get everyone to know each other and then, yeah, the last major event planned for the year would be the NGO function, subject to COVID changes and protocols. And I think we would be looking at plus minus 50 people for that event. Um, it wouldn't be as formal as previous Psyche NGO functions. It will be more of a casual event. And yeah, that will just be a way for everyone to reflect on the year and for Psyche members just to have fun and have a good time. And yeah, so I'm really, really looking forward to working with our Psyche team and just getting the name of Psyche out there. Hi everyone, my name is Matthias and I am the Transformation and Research Director for the Psyche Society for this year. Um, I'm a third year psychology student and I'm also a postgraduate student with the Faculty of Theology. Um, my plan for Psyche Society is basically just to continue with the Mental Matters podcast series where we discuss a variety of different psychological topics and mental health and how we can engage and relate or understand these different topics. Um, and these will happen every month. So we'll have a discussion and we'll post it onto our social media platforms every month. So do look out for those. Um, in addition to that, we're also planning for yoga days um, just to look at how yoga can facilitate in the addressing of mental health issues it's really interesting um, if COVID allows and if everything goes according to plan then that's something you should definitely look forward to um, other than that there's also a talk that we're looking uh, forward to towards the end of the year um, just again more information on that will come out closer to the stage I look forward to meeting all of you virtually, um, seeing you at our events and things like that. Um, thank you very much. <laughs>